Hello. Good evening. Welcome to worship this evening. Wednesday evening between the third and fourth Sundays of Easter 2001. We are gathering to sing evening prayer. Hello, Kat. Um, evening prayer from ELW with some additional prayers uh, for racial justice in our litany this evening. And then uh, following evening prayer this evening, we will be um, doing a book study conversation. Hello, Darlene. Um, a book study uh, conversation on the book uh, Piecing Me Together. And uh, so every other month we've been reading a book and discussing it in place of our Wednesday evening Bible study. So that's tonight. We'll be doing Piecing Me Together um, in two months. What's this, April? So in June, um, we'll be doing um, our next one on the third Wednesday in uh, the month of June. And that's uh, the book, The New Jim Crow, if you'd like to uh, read that. Hello, Joni. Um, so after evening prayer, we'll be doing that. If you want to join us and don't have the link, um, I would be glad to share that link with you. Just um, send an email request to LCRWLB, Lutheran Church of the Reformation, West Long Branch. L-C-R-W-L-B at gmail.com and I'll gladly share the link to our Uber conference room. If you already have that link from uh, another session, you can just use the same link. Uh, so, we'll start in uh, just a moment here with our service of evening prayer. <clears throat> And we begin, hello Dad, hello Doris, we'll begin with our Easter, uh, Easter dialogue. Jesus Christ is risen from the dead, Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. We are illumined by the brightness of his rising. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Death has no more dominion over us. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Joyous light of glory of the immortal Father, heavenly Christ, we have come to the setting of the sun, and we look to the evening light. We sing to God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, you are worthy of being praised with your voices forever. O Son of God, The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. We give you thanks, O God, for in the beginning you called light into being. And you set lights in the sky to govern night and day. In a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. You led your people into freedom. Enlighten our darkness by the light of your Christ. May your word be a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. 
For you are merciful, and you love your whole creation, and with all your creatures we give you glory, through your Son, Jesus Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Our service continues with the evening psalm, Psalm 141. Let my prayer rise before you as incense. Let my prayer rise before you as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Oh Lord, I call to you, come to me quickly, hear my voice when I cry to you. Let my prayer Let the incense of our repentant prayer ascend before you, O God, and let your loving kindness descend upon us, that with purified hearts we may sing your praises with the church on earth and the whole heavenly host, and may glorify you forever and ever. Amen. Our hymn for this evening is ELW Hymn eight, uh, 684, Creating God Your Fingers Trace.
Here now, select readings from Holy Scripture. From Genesis 1. Then God said, Let us make humankind in our image, according to our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the wild animals of the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth. So God created humankind in God's image. In the image of God, he created them. And from Galatians 3, As many of you as were baptized into Christ have clothed yourselves with Christ. There is no longer Jew or Greek. There is no longer slave or free. There is no longer male or female, for all of you are one in Christ Jesus. And from James chapter 2. You do well if you really fulfill the royal law according to the scripture. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. But if you show partiality, you commit sin and are convicted by the law as transgressors. For whoever keeps the whole law but fails in one point has become accountable for all of it. And from Revelation chapter 7. I looked, and there was a great multitude that no one could count from every nation, from all tribes and peoples and languages, standing before the throne and before the Lamb, robed in white, with palm branches in their hands. They cried out in a loud voice, saying, Salvation belongs to our God, who is seated on the throne and to the Lamb. Holy wisdom, holy word, thanks be to God. We take a moment in quiet to meditate on the readings. Long ago, God spoke to our ancestors in many and various ways by the prophets. But in these last days, God has spoken to us by the Son. We sing the song of Mary, the Magnificat. <laughs> My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. My 
my soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For you, Lord, have looked with favor on your lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. You, the Almighty, have done great things for me, and holy is your name. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. You have mercy on those who fear you from generation to generation. You have shown strength with your arm and scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. You have filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich have come to the aid of your servant Israel to remember the promise of mercy, the promise made to our forebears, to Abraham and his children forever. My soul proclaims the greatness of prayers this evening are in the form of the litany sung. I will sing petitions, and to each petition you are invited to respond. Lord, have mercy. In peace let us pray to the Lord. Have mercy. For the peace from above and for our salvation, let us pray to the Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the Church of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord, have mercy. For this holy time, and for all who offer now their worship and praise, let us pray to the Lord, have mercy. For the health of the creation, for abundant harvest that all may share, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord, have For public servants, the government, and those who protect us. For those who work to bring peace, justice, healing, and protection in this and in every place. Let us pray to the Lord. Have mercy. For those who travel, for those who are sick and suffering, and for those who are in captivity. Let us pray to the Lord, have mercy. For deliverance in the time of affliction, wrath, danger, and need, 
Let us pray to the Lord, have mercy. For Elizabeth and Tracy, our bishops, for all servants of the church, for this assembly, and for all people who await from the Lord great and abundant mercy, let us pray to the Lord, have mercy. For God's people to confess the sin of racism and to reject the ideology of white supremacy, let us pray to the Lord, have mercy. For the strength to confess, repent, and repudiate the times when we have been silent in the face of racial injustice, let us pray to the Lord, have mercy. For an end to stereotypes and policies that actively hurt Latinx people, Asian people, black people, indigenous people, and all people of color, let us pray to the Lord, have mercy. Help, save, comfort, and defend us, gracious Lord. Giving thanks for all who have gone before us and are at rest. Rejoicing in the communion of all the saints, we commend ourselves, one another, and our whole life to you, through Christ our Lord, to you, O Lord. O God, you have called your servants to ventures of which we cannot see the ending, by paths as yet untrodden, through perils unknown. Give us faith to go out with good courage, not knowing where we go, but always knowing that your hand is leading us and your love supporting us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father in heaven, Hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, keep our hearts and our minds in Christ Jesus. Amen. So ends our service of evening prayer for this evening. Again, in place of our regular Bible study tonight, we'll be uh, holding a racial justice book study on the book uh, Piecing Me Together. If you haven't read it, that's okay. We'll be reading small passages and then uh, discussing them. So you're still welcome to join us. If you don't have the link to our Uber conference room and would like that so you can join us for our conversation this evening, by all means, quickly drop an email to LCRWLB, Lutheran Church of the Reformation, West Long Branch, LCRWLB at gmail.com. And I'll be glad to share that link with you. Uh, we'll be starting in just about five minutes with that conversation. Um, everyone is welcome. 
Otherwise, God bless you. I actually will not see you Sunday. Well, I will. I'll, I'll come in and share a few announcements and such, but uh, we'll be uh, blessed to be sharing and uh, a service prepared by the ELCA featuring our presiding bishop, Elizabeth Eaton, as the preacher. And so uh, we'll be sharing together in that on Sunday morning. Um, so God bless you. We'll see you soon. Peace. Bye.